Well, I was approached by York Castle Museum to see if I could write a story about some of the uh, exhibits in the museum and also run workshops in the summertime to engage uh, the children. And so they sent me some, uh, some of the um, exhibits and I chose the ones to write about. Um, with that in mind, with them being, um, with me uh, staging them for children, the read aloud sessions, I chose the toys in the 1950s birthday party room. So I, I, I walked around the museum quite a lot, which is uh, it's fantastic. So I chose uh, uh, various um, of the exhibits, like uh, Ted, who was donated to the museum by a lady who was given Ted when her before uncle was going to, her father was going to war in 1940. And as uh, Mr. and Mrs. Gilligan, Martin Parr Jingle Bells, who's the, the, uh, the carousel in the museum. So there was, there was quite a number of exhibits and I thought, you know what, this would be really exciting. Uh, I write lots of books and all my books have an educational element. Uh, I find it difficult uh, to write without having an educational element, so it's always fictitious characters delivering factual information. Uh, it's a brilliant way because it's a creative way of engaging them. Um, I remember when I was at school, if you sat there and someone's reading to you, with a, you know, in a black and white sense, you don't take things on board quite the same. But in this one, they're coming to life with a, a, um, a magical sparkle dust and, a, and shrinking drinking potions involved. So when you're talking about them flying around the museum, um, it, it's going to engage them, but takes them to all these different decades in time. Uh, historical things happening in these times, so it makes it more memorable for them. Um, the book is now being showcased in the People's Book Prize. This is a national book prize which is voted for by the people. It's a great showcase for York, the York Castle Museum. Uh, yeah, it's, it's brilliant. And there's also, I wrote a poem that goes with the book, which will be in the next print run as well, which is all related to the story.